Hi, this is Jack Young from Visual Paradigm. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Customer Journey Mapping, which is a popular tool to use in customer experience management. This is a customer journey map. People create a map like this to visualize the thoughts and feelings customers have during the engagement with an organization, service, product, or brand over time. The idea is pretty simple. Let me give you a quick overview now. I will explain with a case study of a tourist company. Let's say I'm a manager of a tourist company, and I want to know about how the customers feel about our touring services. In particular, I'm interested to know about the bottlenecks they experience. The first thing I have to do is to list out the stages of the entire journey, from exploring itineraries to booking a tour, pre-tour, pre-tour is where the customers prepare for the tour, during the tour, and post tour. Keep in mind that a customer journey map must be drawn from customer's perspective. It describes the activity the customer would undertake in words the customers might use. So you see the stage explorer itineraries here instead of something like provide tour details. Okay, for each stage, identify the customer touch points. A touch point is any time a potential customer or customer comes in contact with your brand. Here are the touch points of the stage explore itineraries. Company website. A potential customer come to our website to find information about tours. Advertisement. A potential customer knows our offer from advertisements. Social media. A potential customer comes to our social media accounts and see our offers there. These are the touch points. Sometimes touch points are written as customer actions, like serving the company website and reading advertisements. Once the touch points are identified, I'll start to identify what the customers think and how they feel for each touch point. What do the potential customers think when they visit our website to find tourist information? Um, are they happy, unhappy, or even frustrated with our services? Think as a potential customer and list out all the customer thinking and feeling. Here are some examples. They are pleased with the rich tools details we provide. They are unhappy due to the lack of real-time support. They are unhappy because the brochure are not print-friendly. Finally, based on these findings, I can think of the possible solutions. Since the potential customers want real-time support, we may consider supporting a live chat function, as well as to set up a company WhatsApp account. By putting together the stages, the touch points, customer thinking and feelings, and ideas for improvements together, a map is formed, and this is a customer journey map. A journey map makes visible the interactions between customers and the business. It identifies the blockages that might prevent customers from proceeding smoothly and develop a holistic view of customer experiences. So when should customer journey mapping be utilized? Here are some situations where you will benefit from customer journey mapping. If you believe that there are bottlenecks in the current business, but not sure where they are, nor how to get rid of them, create a customer journey map to find them out. If you have adopted a new business strategy that brings new customers to your business, you may want a studying of their experiences. An example would be a boutique that offers online shopping option which attracts a new group of potential customers who prefer online shopping. If your business is offering an entirely new service that requires a full rough studying of customer experience, an example would be a supermarket that offers free delivery service lately. If there are significant business changes like a merger of two companies, you might want to ensure that customer experience is not affected. Finally, when you want to ensure that different business units are collaborating seamlessly with each other in delivering a seamless and consistent service to customers. Now, let's take a look at how to utilize customer journey map in practice. The first step is to identify the customers who are relevant to your journey and the scope of activities you would like to access. After that, you invite the customers or their representatives to a journey mapping workshop. 
You ask them about their thoughts and feelings at each stage of the journey. With the information gathered, create a customer journey map. Very often, step 2 and 3 are iterative, which means that customers will reveal and comment on the map, and then you reveal it, customers will then reveal again until the map can accurately reflect the customer's experience. Improvement opportunities are identified. The next step is to create action plans for discussing and implementing the improvement ideas stated in the map. Visual Paradigm supports a set of tools that help. If an improvement is about a change on business workflow, you may represent a new workflow by drawing a business process diagram. If the improvement is about adding new system functions or to re-engineer the existing system, you may model the changes with UML diagrams. If further discussions on user experiences are required, you may draw wireframes for screen mockups. Archimate diagram can be drawn to represent the architecture of business, information system, and technology domains if the improvements may result in architectural changes of the enterprise. The final step is to implement the improvement ideas and make them effective. Besides developing a customer journey map loosely, you can optionally integrate it with other parts of your model. Take this use case diagram as example. It visualizes the use cases of an online bookstore. The use case order books here means that the need of book ordering will be supported by the system. You can attach sub diagrams to all model elements, which includes but not limited to use cases. Here is an example. The use case order box can hold a sequence diagram that visualizes its system flow and a stage machine diagram that shows the internal state changes. Similarly, you can access the customer experience of a use case by attaching a customer journey map as a diagram of that use case. In this example, we can develop a customer journey map to demonstrate the customer experience throughout an ordering process. Perhaps there are touch points like the book details page and buy page. Customers may feel unhappy because the page lacks a shopping cart, and then we can wrap up an improvement suggestion, which is to develop a shopping cart. Besides integrating a journey map with this case, you can also integrate it with other modeling artifacts. If use case is too high level, you may want to apply customer journey mapping on a specific UML action, which represents a system function module or to examine the customer experiences for real-world business activities by creating journey maps for individual sub-processes. You may also perform customer experience mapping on business processes model in Archimate diagrams. Okay, in the next few minutes, I will show you how to develop a customer journey map in Visual Paradigm. Let's start. This is Visual Paradigm, the start page of Visual Paradigm. Customer journey map is a diagram, is a kind of diagram. So I create a new diagram first, select diagram, and then new, click new. I search for customer journey map. The short form is CJM, select customer journey map and click next. Enter the diagram name. I would suggest you enter the name of the journey here. I'm going to demonstrate the use of customer journey map in representing the customer experiences of tour service. So I name the diagram Tech Tour. I click OK to confirm. This creates a blank customer journey map. It's not really blank because you see some stages and some lengths created for you by default. What I have to do is to rename the stages or um, remove or add the stages and to enter the touch points, customer thinking and feelings, and enter the improvement ideas. I will show you step by step. I will start by entering the stages. The first one, explore itineraries. The second one, book a tour. The third one, pre-tour. The fourth one, during tour. I need one more stage post tour, and that's it for stages. After that, I'm going to enter the touch points of the first stage, explore itineraries. I double click on this cell. This is the interface where I can enter and edit the touch points. So I enter the first touch point, tours detail. 
you can optionally enter a description. I will explain the use of reference in a minute. And I enter the second touch point, pre-sales support channel, enter the description, the third touch point, tour booking page, again the description, and confirm. You see three touch points are created under the first stage. Next, think about what the customers think and feel for each touch point and list them out in this cell. Again, I double click on the cell and start to enter the customer thinking and feeling one by one. The first one, lack sophisticated tour searching. Again, I can enter a description. By the way, the description you entered will appear in the report you generate. I will demonstrate the report generation feature in a minute. Again, I enter the second one, brochure not printable. And a description. And the third one, black like real-time support channel. The description. The fourth one, no way to compare tours. Again, the description. Okay, this time I want to talk about the reference, the reference column here. As I said before, touch points, thinking and feeling, and the ideas for improvement are interrelated. It's the touch points that trigger the customer to produce certain feeling or to think of something, to have some emotional changes, which as a result causes the need of improvement. The reference column here is for you to establish the relationships between them. With the use of reference, you have a clear understanding of which touch point triggers what thinking and feeling, and what are the ideas proposed to remove or to mitigate the negative feeling customers have. This is the purpose of reference. So I set a reference here. The point lack sophisticated tour searching is generated when the customer visits the tours details page. So I select tours detail here. The second one, brochure not printable is again generated when a customer visits the tours details page. The comment that there is a lack of real-time support channel is generated from the touchpoint pre-sales support channel. Finally, the comment that there is no way to compare tours was generated when the customer visits the tour booking page. So I've set all the references, click OK to confirm. You see some tiny icons put after the points. These icons indicate the existences of reference, or if an item is being referenced by others. By the way, there is really no fixed or standard schema for customer journey map. If necessary, you can customize the map by adding more links, like this. Say you may want to present also the customer's emotions throughout the journey. But I don't need such a link here, so I just remove it first. Okay, I move on to the ideas for improvement. Um, I want more space, so I just collapse this pane first. I'll reopen it later on. Okay, ideas for improvement. Same as before, I double click on the cell here to open the editor. Based on the customer experience identified, think of and list out the improvement opportunities. The first one is to support advanced searching. I can enter a description. The second one supports a print friendly brochure. I get a description. These ideas are created in response to the customer experience identified before. So here I'm going to add references to customers' thinking and feeling. And confirm. Alright, I've finished entering the customer experience and recommendations for the first stage. Repeat the steps for the other stages. This completes the journey map. Now the touch points, thinking and feeling, and ideas for improvements are all represented as bullet points. We provide two alternative presentation options. In this video, I want to talk about the label style. Right click on the link header, like this one, the touch points, 
and select item style. There are three styles labeled bullet points and number. The current style is bullet point. I want to present the points as labels, so I select label. The label style provides you a way to categorize items. Let's say I want to categorize the touch points into system touch points and human touch points. Let me show you how to do this. Double click on this cell, assign a color label to system touch points. Assign another color label to human touch points. Repeat these steps on all the other touch points. Finally, I name the two color code as system touch point and human touch point. This is how the label style works. Now I want to show you how to generate a report from this customer journey map. You may need this feature when you want to produce a document for communication. To generate a report, expand this pane. Double click on this button, customer journey mapping. To generate a document file. Confirm. This is the generated report. This is the map, the image. These are the details I entered for each stage, which include the touch points, customer thinking and feeling, and ideas for improvement. And the next stage, the next stage, and so forth. If you just want an image instead of a document, you can do this. Select Project from the toolbar and select Export Active Diagram as Image. Save the image. And this is the image file exported. Before I go, I want to show you how to integrate a customer journey map with a visual model. I will use a use case model as an example. Here is the use case. Cancel order. I want to study the customer experience associated with all the cancelling. To do this, click on this tiny sub-diagram icon, select new diagram, choose customer journey map, and confirm. So now I can start to develop the map. Say the first stage is before cancellation. There is a touch point terms and conditions page, and I confirm it. Go back to the use case diagram. The customer journey map is stored under the use case now. From now on, I can open the customer journey map from the use case like this. Okay, this is the end of this video. I hope you will find customer journey map useful. If you want more information, please visit our website www.visual-paradigm.com. Goodbye.